Welcome to Cougar Mountain Software Denali Essential Training. Employee Management The Employee Management screen allows you to manage all of your employee data in one place. When entering a new employee, you will want to assign that employee a number for tracking purposes. This can be anything you want it to be. The General Information tab is where you put the basic employee information like name, position, address, and basic personal statistics. The Year to Date Summary tab shows the year to date totals for wages and taxes. You can also see the general check information for each check written to the employee. From here, you can also print a history report for the selected employee. You can also see what the employee's W-2 numbers are by using the W-2 preview. The Pay Rates and Taxes tab quickly shows you what this employee's pay rates and tax codes are. You can enter as many pay rates and tax codes as necessary for each employee. To enter a new pay rate or tax code, just click below the existing codes. You can enter default units if the employee always works the same number of hours each week. This can easily be modified during payroll entry. The tax codes can be assigned to the pay rates, allowing for an employee working in more than one state to be taxed correctly. The Benefits and Deductions tab is where you enter all of the applicable benefit and deduction codes to your employee. To enter a new code, click on the Add New Row button. This will bring up a window that allows you to enter the employee-specific information for this benefit or deduction, including tax amounts and allocation methods. You can also print the benefit and deduction report for each selected employee. This shows what codes they have associated with them and the amounts for the current year. The Leave tab is where all applicable leave codes are entered for each employee. This tab is also used for you to track how much leave an employee has available. It shows the amount accrued, the amount used, and the amount remaining. Each attached code can have its own accrual method and rate. Once the codes have been attached, they will be totaled based on the leave type in the bottom box. You can also print a leave report for the selected employee from this tab. This report shows each leave code, accrual method, rate, amount accrued, and the totals. The Direct Deposit tab is used to enter the employee-specific direct deposit information. You will select Add New Row to enter direct deposit information. The employee can have as many different direct deposit lines as necessary. Each line will have specific bank information and amounts. Your company information will be entered in the module preferences. The Direct Deposit Report shows you a breakdown of the direct deposit information for the selected employee. The User Defined tab allows you to enter this employee's specific information for the User Defined fields that you set up in Module Preferences. If any of these User Defined fields are set as a lookup type in Module Preferences, you can double click to open the lookup. The Notes tab is used to enter any additional information regarding this employee that is not included elsewhere. You can enter a timestamp for each note for documentation and search your employee notes for a specific text string. As you can see, the Employee Management window allows you to enter as much or as little information as you need for each of your employees. This allows you to keep accurate and extensive records digitally and securely.